connect with the opening score. Travis gets the layup to go. Now he's got to contend with the ball. up badly with Travis and Jimmer, so he's going to have to attack them and make these type of shots. That's true fact, but don't forget that Dylan Travis is first team on defense. First team on defense. He ain't scared to tangle with the ball. Jimmer, however, might be in trouble. Yeah, he got put on the bucket list. That was like a fly to the ball. 1-1 yep. one -one game. Jimmer for deck. Got the second highest two-point percentage in the league. Dylan Travis can shoot it too. He came strapped. Steve Sir. He will nearly throw it away. The madman, Maddox, looking for Jimmer. Jimmer, turn of the corner. Got a foul off the ball between Maddox and uh, and Asambu. I believe that whistles against Asambu. But it, it's a luxury to have the, the two sharp shooters in 3x3 percentage-wise on this Miami team. And guess what, boss? The top two-point percentage in the league ain't Jimmer. Oh, I know. I know. It's that man, Nuke Berry. 46% from long range this year. Jimmer is good for 45%. That is, and not the, not the knock on Barry whatsoever, but Jimmer's volume is obviously a lot bigger. Sure. And to shoot 45% on that many shots is just ridiculous. Meantime, Barry's on the cut like Neil Sporn. It's a four point advantage for Miami. Maddox still a premier level defender. And the heart and soul of this Miami team. Barry can't bury the two that time. A rare miss for him from uh, out deep. But you're right, uh, Canyon shot 20 of 43 from two point range this year. That's just what they need out of him, though. We know he can play defense. We know he can rebound and get to the cup. But in the past, teams would have you know, let him shoot a little bit, right? Why not? I mean, if you give up something, give up that, that very two, but you can't do that anymore. For that, by comparison, shot 40, 144. <laughs> well, Dylan Travis is looking for his second to make. He doesn't get that one to go. Miami's lead stays at four. The War Horse, he's riding into the cup and continue the battle with Team Miami. I'm looking for a little bit tired to try to get Steve Sir a good look. I know the length of Miami is going to bother him, but if they want to win, and when they won this year, it's been Steve Sir and his hot shoot. Without a doubt, Steve Sir who took MVP and routed that Shanghai Masters title. Steve Sir is actually third when it uh, comes to two-point shooting percentage in the league behind Fredette and Barry at 42% this year. So this could very well turn into a shootout. Barry at the line. He will miss the underhanded free throw. Davasabu will have it cleared. He will attack on the inside. He does not hit it. Shimmer. He left that one short. Dugo Sia telling people to move. Move. He wants to see some off the ball movement. Sets the screen. Igba kicks it up top to the ball. The ball. Pass Jimmer. Drops it off. Has the defense there. And that was just enough to prevent the shot from going up. And those are the plays that the real deal creates for Team Miami. They don't show up in the stat sheet. But that play right there, deflecting the ball, takes a second off, and it costs them a possession. And it's cool to see how cool. The mad man with a bad yam. Oh, yeah, he's bouncing. No, but going back to Travis, I, you know, to see him evolve from an offensive minded player for Team Omaha in the past to now being kind of a blue guy, a hustle guy for Team Miami, he's adapted so well to that role. And making plays like that is big. Not as big as this two handed mash, though. He's bouncing like the curls on his head. The madman coming to receive the Wilson now. He wants to let Jimmer get loose. Jimmer shot put it that one up late. And now a shooter versus shooter. 
Steve Sir, though. Midway shot. We'll hit the midway, Jay. Sir, who uh, got his nose broke in practice about a month ago. That's the reason why he's wearing that mask. You mean Sir? I mean Sir. That's the reason why Sir was wearing that mask. <laughs> He's so happy to get a break in the action so he can pull that plastic off of his face and breathe in some fresh air. Yeah, and especially for a shooter with uh, plastic around your face like that, your your perception is, is different than what it usually is. So curious to see if he can uh, find the stroke from long range. Hey, so, again, they will need it. I mean, they've had Inkbot going to the cup. They've had Dava Sambu underneath. Now they just need to sprinkle in some serve. Oh. I'm going to keep doing this. He's got a million of them. 7 5 lead. Team Miami. Jimmer. Oh, he does something besides shoot two. What? I'm going to tell you right now who my newcomer of the year is going to be in my end of season award. Tell me. I'm curious. LeBron was living. Huh. Does he happen to be in this game? He may or may not be wearing a black jersey with two on the back. Oh. Meantime, that two goes up. They better get a hand up on Inkbot. He can knock those down. Jimmer with the bull. Got him off his feet. Now the madman. Oh! He gave him a floor seat. He gave him floor seat. He made him lay back and relax. This ain't no day on the beach. So dude, he's in a locker room, man. Spit him out like that. <laughs> oh. he's still shaking it off. <laughs> Maddox gave him a friendly pat on the back. I'm sorry I had to do that to you like that, bro. I apologize. It's the world to a final, though, you know. What you expect. Abbasan Boo. He will get the free throw to go down. We got a 9-9 contest. Around comes the madman. The real deal. Oh, gift wrap that one. And Barry puts Miami up 10-9. Nice feed to the bull. 10-10. Back and forth we go. Travis and the Madman. There's a whistle. I'll tell you what, we talked about defensive players earlier. And I just uh, reminded myself when I saw uh, the ball action on that and uh, on that Dillis Tra Dilla Travis out dribble. Inkbot might be in the conversation for defensive player of the year as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh oh. Jimmer. Nowhere to go. He does not hit it after a bunch of fakes. Steve Sir didn't see it clearly from the corner. Meantime, Barry gets a good look. He missed everything. Jimmer's turn. The eight year NBA vet left Steve Sir in the dust in a cloud of smoke as Miami reassumed a one point lead. Steve Sir. So 432, and we got another dog fight to start the day. The main draw, that is. We already saw the fireworks in the qualifying draw. I'm telling you, the sun is down, so I start I stopped sweating because of the heat. Now I'm sweating because of the games. And Boz, let's not forget about that photo finish that these two teams had uh, in Macau. Where Ulubatar came out on top in the quarterfinals. You remember that that duo Sia fall away two in the corner yep. to win it? Miami has not forgotten about that. Now, of course, Miami did get some payback in Cebu in the pool phase. Oh, oh way to stick with it. Persistence pays off. It was reset, then sit again. And it finally goes through. Here comes Nuke. Nuke spinning through. Nuke trying to get a bucket to go. But Barry is gone for the foul. Another look at the defense. And there's the man. The war horse. Ready for battle, don't go to Inkbot. I'm telling you. 
at that Shanghai Masters that they won, he was everywhere on the court. Quick hands, steals, stifling defense from him in that tournament. That's his role in the squad. Look at Maddox. Well. Look at Maddox. The grit, the effort, the hustle to get the bucket on the inside. Madman now defending up top. The ball. That's going to leave some bruises. Maybe not. It's stolen away, though. It's a no, sir, that time. Now kicked out to Jimmer. That is a two point layup for him. You cannot let that guy get that clean of a look. For goodness sakes, dang near 50%. 14 11. Bodies hit the floor. Dylan Travis is pumped the hell out. And a TV timeout. Oh, big play by Travis, giving up his body like that. Taking a charge, that's an offensive foul. Look at the hype. Man, that, I, had a, I had a bar that just came to mind, but I, I won't drop it. <laughs> you would have been a good one, but maybe not for uh, the younger kids watching. You tell me, you tell me off screen. I will leave it up, yeah, I'll leave it up to your match next year. <laughs> All right, it's time to shift our focus back to the half court. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice. Boss Rosenthal, a.k.a. The Mountain, rocking with you. Jimmer with the rocking hand. Jimmer. Oh, he's, he's a specialist with the rock. This is the type of shots that make it ridiculous that he's hitting such a high percentage of two-point shots, right? Drives into the defense, huge step back, big step backwards behind the arc, two feet behind the line like his gym class, and splashes it. Unbelievable. Jimmer Fredette helping lead, a, lead Miami to a 5-1 advantage. He gets his third two of the game. I don't think so, yeah. We gotta start keeping count of these now. So 257 left. Burdett is gonna check back in. The Madman will check out. Oh, nice entry feed. Better defense from the Doogie Man. He steals it, gets it out to the war horse, Yeehaw. He hits the two, and Ula Vitar within three. Duco Sia poked that out of bounds, I believe. Yeehaw. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> All right, you let that one slip out, I get it. Midwest, huh? There you go. Three-point game. 237. Maddox is going to work. You can see Miami's making a point out of attacking Steve. Oh, making oh. out like a catfish. Did you see what he just did? That was the bull with a Euro step. Uh oh, now the bull might get, be in trouble. The Jimmer Blender goes to the spin move and draws the foul. Another look at Jimmer with the foot buck, footwork. Ink by call reaching in. So up steps Jimmer. Averaging eight points per game in this 2023 season. Was certainly in the MVP conversation. Had it not been for the historic year that Dr. Strange had, of course, Worthy De Young deserves some conversation as well. And Jimmer splashes them both at the free throw line, where he's been 75% here in 2023. Inkbot driving to the block, he'll hand it off to Serge. Sterling will try to give it back, but a foul is called. And that one whistled on Inkbot. That's number eight on the Mongolians. Inkbot leaning in here to set the screen, take a look. Oh yeah, yeah. He can't do that. That's shoves his hip into the madman. It's gonna result in a possession go back to Miami. You better watch out now. This game point for Jimmer. 19 14. Barry trying to find Maddox, the two world champions on this team from 2019. Got a couple of America Cup champions as well. 
everybody's Pan Am gold medalist. As USA, I should remind you, both the USA men and women have qualified directly to the 2024 Olympic Games. Dugo Sia in for the score. Travis navigating through traffic, no problem. Game point, Team Miami. Steve Sir with the floaty. Ula Batar still have life. Steve Sir, they gave him one instead of a two. Maddox closed out on him hard. Again, should be everybody's strategy against Steve, but more be so for Miami in this contest. You can see things getting tested between Kareem and Steve Sir. These are two of the nicest dudes in the league, honestly. Yep. <laughs> but when they step between those lines, they turn into to pit bulls. And Sir is gonna get hit with a with a, a warning. Official Uris is not going to put up with that. Just enough of us. So Maddox can put it to bed at the line. Ooh, that one is a little long, but he will get uh, a couple more free throws. So there actually was a technical assist, I believe, to start. Yep. So two, two more free throws coming from Maddox, so he's going to get uh, more than his fair share of chances to end this game at the line. And their business is done. Game one for Miami, 21-16 over Ula Batar. A competitive game early, but then Jimmy Bucket started going off. And the game ends up being a five-point victory for Team Miami.